All right, so today let's go ahead and take a look at the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro. Let me make sure I had this right for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this and let's see what she is working with. All right, now I've already messed with the Z Fold case, Subcase Z Fold case, and that thing was solid. All right, so I expect nothing less when it comes to this case right here. All right, because this right here is going to be a heavy duty protection boy right here. I can already tell, all right? Because we got all the plastic, all right? Let's put all the plastic aside. Now I'm trying to get this part out. And you have a little mini <laughs> rip, a, a hook, a, a waist hook. What is this called again, man? These are old school right here, man. What's these called? Belt, belt clips, there we go. With the old school rotating thing. Boy, I yeah, that's that old school right there, man. Let's go ahead and put everything up. And, uh, Anything else in here? You got anything else in the box? Anything else in the box? Nothing but some snap, nothing else. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to get into the old school dead clipper here in a second, man. We're going to get into that because some people might be out there still using those bad boys. So this is going to be a two part case, as you can see right here. Now, this is becoming like the golden color. I think they may be saying it. I may be butchering it, but subcase does come in a few different colors for you to check out. All right. So this is always going to be more catered to my heavy duty protection. All right. So if you got to flip out there and you live in that lifestyle, you might be in, in the outside environments. Trust me, these devices can take them. It's a few people who's actually put these and stress tested them. That's what this case right here is going to be for. All right. So on the inside, you see the only thing you get is going to be a peel tab. That's going to be right here. So that leaves me with very good high confidence that they're going to be fitting very good when it comes to this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that snap right there legit said it all. All right. And then we're going to put the bottom half. Oh, yeah. Scoot them up. I can already tell you, man, this case right here, <laughs> it ain't going nowhere on this phone. I can just about guarantee you that, man. So let's go ahead and take a look at this case. So here it is, all right? Giving you that very industrial type design, if that's what you're into. Unicorn Beetle Pro right here on the back. So definitely like what they got going on, man. Definitely is a, a rugged style case, all right? It's not a lot of rugged type cases. So if you just want that little extra protection, would have been dope for us to get some hinge protection, but they might offer a different case with a different protection level that gives you that hinge protection, all right? So let's go ahead and step through it. So like I stated, man, the top is going to be completely open with no hinge protection. Flip, take a look at the top on the front. You got the cutout for your screen. You got nice little carbon fiber like type material that goes around the actual display with that cutout for your flash. Even with that, of course, it's going to be recessed down in here, man, because this is a big boy case right here. So on that right side, you get a very generous cutout for your fingerprint scanner and your power button. Volume up and down is very tactile. No issue there. You got your sub case right here on the side and you got your cutouts and everything on the bottom with, of course, nothing on the back but that Unicorn Beetle Pro and that type of design. All right. Now. Let's go ahead and fold it open. And when you're talking about folding it open, man, you do get a lip that goes all the way around it. But a lot of these cases aren't really meant to give you a bunch of lip that goes around it. But this one definitely has a nice little lip. So if you were to put this down, I definitely think you will be good when we are talking about lay on the table protection or anything like that. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pull test. And I can be 100% honest with you, man. I can already feel the way this case is fitting. This thing ain't coming off. I can already tell you right now, all right? So let's go ahead and get with it. Let's go ahead and go light pull. Light to medium. Medium to hard. Ah, ah, yeah, it's not coming off, man. Let me just get two hands on it and let me, this can't be good for my flip, man. Jerry Rig, I mean, this can't be good for my flip, yo. Y'all can see my hands. No, this ain't coming off. Nope. <laughs> this ain't coming off, man. So in order to take this off, you're going to have to want to take this off. I mean, it didn't even budge because I'm trying to push it back up and it's like I'm in place. You don't got to do anything. I'm here. You know what I mean? So, yo, good job, Subcase, with having this thing as sturdy as it is. As it is. This, this thing ain't going nowhere. All right? It is not going anywhere. And how does it feel in your hand? Of course, it's going to add a little bit of bulk. But I like the little side texture they have here on the sides. It's going to be able to give you a little bit of grip when you're talking about holding the phone so this right here definitely does feel grippy but yeah it does feel like you do have a case on your phone because we know the flip is thin but on the grand scheme of things man you're getting that protection this is a thousand dollar device so this is kind of what you want when it comes to protection all right so bringing the wireless charging over here dropping it down on wireless charging it works just fine even with wireless charging just fine and let's go ahead and test it on if you have to do anything that's in 
you know, hinge mode or however you want to flex mode. There we go. It has no rocks. All right. It has no rocks if you are tapping on it. Also, it has a little rock if you push the top. But for the majority, there isn't any rocking that's going on with this case. All right. So that's a good look right there when it comes to sub case. And if you want to rock the belt clip, man, you can pop the old school. Now, I don't want to. I'm trying to see if they have any type of, uh, you know, type of. Let me see. Which way does it want you to put it in? All right. So you can put it in this way because I was a little bit leery about putting it in the other way because the hinge and this plastic, I didn't want anything to scratch up. So you can go that way. Of course, you can probably go this way in it. All right. So you can go that way. And can you go top and no, you can't go like that. All right. If you can't put it, you got to put it in sideways. So you got to put it either like this or you got to put it in like that. All right. And of course, very sturdy 360 degree swivel that's also good to have as well so if you need to rock the phone the belt clip and have that protection everything is good you can't open it then here it is all right so this is going to be the subcase unicorn beetle pro man bringing you that rugged type of protection but yet very accurate very precise very nice fit it's not going anywhere good job subcase well i'll just slam that thing <laughs> down right there man so good job subcase with this man so if you're looking for that rugged type protection this is going to be, be an option for you for the z flip 4 i don't know if you can get any better when we're talking about overall protection comes with a kickstand and this thing i pulled it with the death grip and nothing happened all right so you already know man links to this will be down in the description man let me see those flexes if you like the video and also yeah y'all be easy i went the mind went blank be easy catch you on the next one later